Well now, it's been a while. We're back to Portal with Portal Revolution, a new mod that several of you are now going to stop the video and go download and play yourself. So if that's the case, uh, see you tomorrow. Hope you had fun. <laughs> but anyway, if you're new around here, I've covered all of Portal 1 and 2. All of Portal. Well, there's two games. But I've also covered Portal Stories Mel and uh, probably one or two other mods that I'm forgetting at this point, honestly. And I've still gotten more to go, but eventually I'll probably get through a lot more of them. And I've done a bunch of community maps, both single player and, and co op and so on. And I've done the co op campaign of Portal 2. So we've got a lot of Portal content on this channel, which makes sense because it's the game that, like, really got me into puzzle games and got a lot of people into puzzle games, I, let, I guess. Which. Should be obvious because so many portal, so many video games are very obviously inspired by Portal specifically, in a in a similar wave to games that were once upon a time very obviously inspired by Mist. So that's that's a cool legacy to have. Sure wish they'd make a third one someday. That'd be that'd be cool. Anyway, I don't know the gimmick of this game, so this will be fun. I don't let by which I mean like each. Portal mod often has like its own identity and central mechanic, and I know don't, don't know what this one is. <laughs> ah, I'm moving. This is upsetting. Taking us up now. <clears throat> Do I have feet? Good morning, test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. Let me guess, it's incomprehensible. Hello, it is I. To be accepted into the Human Emergency Response Team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem-solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Please press the button to accept the terms. Joke's on you, I speak blur. And thank you for volunteering. The door will open in three, two, one. I? <laughs> I'm in danger. But yeah, if you want to get caught up on all the portal stuff so far, including any, uh... Expansion, any, <laughs> not expansions. I guess there was an expansion to the DLC. There was a DLC to the public. Wow, my f words failed. There was a DLC to the co-op series, so I guess there was technically an expansion once. But uh, any forgotten mods that I can't think of the name ones right now because I didn't check. Uh, should all be in the playlist in the description. Hopefully this gap between this and the next time I play a portal thing won't be as long as it was this time. That glass looks very dangerous. And that's why they're making me look up at it. They want me to be very aware of how upsetting- Oh, good! Am I par- am I barefoot? I'm probably wearing the weird shoes, but... Can't help be worried about that. Chamber Zero. Just gonna pause this real quick and... Let's pump that up a bit. So rookie numbers. Maybe a little lower than that. This is the this is the every time you launch any PC game for the first time experience. Where it's like this just feels too slow. It's too, it's too much work to look around. I need to turn this up. What's your experience, everybody? Do you usually have too low of sensitivity or too or too the high every time you launch a game? Experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. You 
will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. Ah. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. That's not how consent based on potential compromised brains works. Self-reporting? Uh-oh. Yes, it is time for the patented people try to recreate the comedy of Portal in various mods and also games inspired by Portal. Results have been mixed over the years. Hello. Whoa, they solved themselves. In incredible. What amazing new AI techno- oh. Dang it. I think this is the reset mechanic. There you go. I played the portal game that added a third portal that added you sent you to third dimension, uh, second dimensions. I don't remember what that one was called though, but there was a whole portal game. I don't remember if it was Mel or one of the other portal uh, mods, but one of them had a whole gimmick where like a central reoccurring mechanic was the fact that you could reset uh, the cubes by spawning a new one, which would despawn the old one, and that itself was often a very important step in the puzzles, which I think specifically is something that Valve never really did. Please be advised that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's, a, it's clearly a thing added to the game just for the sense, uh, the sake of being able to... Oh, wow, this is a, a sad little dead end for me. I'll be able to get out over here. Hello, portal gun. You are Hello. now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations, and as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. Oh. They do kind of have one joke, don't they? Remember that one time that Gladys was going to warn you about the danger, and then she shorted out and went blah, 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 and then started speaking in a different language? That is, that is portal humor. Your performance in the next test chamber will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met. Excuse me, it's foyer. <sighs> Hello? No, yes, good, okay. No, yes, good, okay. I sure do remember Portal. Alright. It has been a while though, I was a little worried. Ooh. But as I was saying, the uh... It seemed pretty clear that Valve added the whole reset a cube with a button press thing for the more obvious reasons of, you know, not getting stuck. Like, being able to respawn the puzzle object in case it falls out of the level or you get stuck in a weird place. You could usually walk back to the beginning of the puzzle and get your stuff back and then try again if everything kind of fell apart. Uh, and so it was, all, it was all supposed to be like a, a safety thing so that you could keep going without having to actually reset the puzzle via loading a game or something or restarting it. Uh, so it was interesting to have an entire portal mod that went to great lengths to establish that as a core mechanic where like a lot of the puzzles were built around the fact that hey you can reset things and that significantly changes what you can accomplish here isn't that interesting and the question is which thing does this game lean on so our goal is to get up with our in order to get up there, I gotta go back in here. And then stand on here, and make another portal, and then grab this, and go back in the thing. 
And now we're up stars. And stop! Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. Wow! I sure like accomplishing things by deleting all of my opponents so that okay, they can't compete. What do we have here? Four out of nine? That's not very many. The next test may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light-sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. Do 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 hello. That does go through there, and now it turned that barrier evil. That seems bad. That seems like all sorts of bads. And I want to shoot that. To get the portal into that, yeah, and then resolved. I didn't even plan that that well. It's kind of... It's had level set up. If you've not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. I'm not making fun of, by the way, I'm not making fun of the various Portal mods for not being as funny as Portal. It's just like, it's just a tough act to follow. The Portal games are extremely entertaining with with incredibly sharp writing and performance and that it's, it's very hard to replicate Gladys and Wheatley. And uh, but because that's such an overbearing, not overbearing, but like an ever-present part of the game, Every mod feels the need Before to try to recreate it. Next test chamber, we would like to remind you that, so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. Is this the gimmick of this particular portal game? That'd be interesting. It might be. It might be, because they, they keep not giving me the other portal. I wonder if that's going to be the thing this game does, is that there's a whole portal about that where they frequently use puzzles about deleting old cubes. There's a whole portal about paint. I think the Aperture Tag might be one of the few I haven't covered yet. I keep meaning to, and then forgetting. <laughs> uh, then there's, the, yeah, there's one of the whole bonus portal, the one with the paint, the one with deleting items. This one might be the one where they really emphasize that part at the beginning of Portal 1 where they only give you one of the portals and you have to solve by just moving one portal around. You could potentially make a campaign that riffs on that idea for a while. So we want probably want to press this button. Whoa! Button pressed, bitch. And shoot a portal in there and reset this to get a new one. Instead of going back over there. Like over there you'd be like, ah, oh, how do I get it back though if I set the portal over there? You don't gotta. Speaking of puzzles about resetting portals via other, like the other game I played. This one is riffing on that one a bit. No, I don't know the uh, background of this game, so I don't know if it's made by any kind of related people. But even if it's not made by any of the same people, it would definitely be made by people who probably did play the previous one. Because who's making a bunch of portal mods and for any other reason than because they love portal so much and there's not, and then they run out of portal to play. And so they probably played a ton of community maps and probably every single existing mod campaign because how else do, do, do you live? <laughs> you scratch that itch by making more, I'm sure. I've never actually made a community map yet. I think I've heard the tools are pretty approachable. Just it's surprisingly weird to think about well like done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. In a funny sort of way, it's just a, there's just a detail of like even though I've played a just a billion different puzzle games. I don't feel like I have a ton of sense of how one designs puzzles, which is interesting to think about.
I wonder if solving a lot of puzzles does in any way develop your capacity for designing a bunch of puzzles. On behalf of the Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. Yeah, bump, bump. I don't know why I, can't. I pressed it again. <laughs> Ew, nothing around here. And this is a solid barrier? Nope, it's an emancipation barrier. The ones that delete things. I have to reset my expectations a little bit after playing Talos Principle and a whole bunch of other puzzle games to remember what, what different energy walls mean. The once iconic portal is no longer a singular experience and I need to remind myself what I think things... Ooh. Interesting. <clears throat> so if I press this... Oh, it locks me in and kicks that out. But it's going to keep going for a while because it's looping. But in order to get it out, I need to... Oh. That. There it is. Had not seen that yet. Whoa! Is there one on this side? Is there? 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 Huh? No? Uh-uh. Portal service, portal service, portal service. I think that's it. Is the middle mouse still ping? Nope, it zooms. Maybe it always zoomed. Uh the ping button. Let's not accidentally press the walk off a cliff button, though. What do you do? You summon... That's interesting. What do you do? You summon a box, right? A different one than that one. Ah, the laser box. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. You need dolls to come over here. Thank, thank you, please. Uh, let's make you the emancipation box, and you will be the button box that makes the laser happen. And now the the grill is dead to me, and I can do this to. Okay, it does go through the window. I was not actually sure if that would work or not. <laughs> I was like, hang on a minute, can it go through the solid-looking window? Like, be kind of opaque one. What secrets lieth beyond? Robots don't sleep. They can test and do your job. Oh. Wait, that's great news. Look at this job. This job sucks. Fuck this job. Yeah, robots. Yeah. If only capitalism didn't ruin that idea. Oh, you don't have to do the miserable job anymore? Congratulations, your life's ruined. Wait, no, that was supposed to fix everything. <laughs> Why'd you do this to me? You were supposed to automate the shitty jobs so that then people could have good lives instead of shitty lives, but no. Actually, your life is ruined because we took away all the shitty jobs, but we didn't create more employment. And we still require employment for you to count as a human being. So, if you want human rights, uh, you better be employed, even though there's less employees to be employing. Uh, yay! Automated Utopia, we fucked it up for reasons that are difficult to explain. As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Uh... I hope the arbitrary direction is forward. I guess technically forward is arbitrary, if you think about it. Uh, what does the button do in this one? Hello? Yes? Oh, I think it went into the soup. I think I went into the bad, bad soup. Oh, fuck. What are we gonna do about that? Oh! Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. There. 
try that. Rude. Good. That faith plate is now properly calibrated. Why did it go up? It wasn't there before. Now it is there. Okay, slanted floor. That's exciting. If you are easily excited, maybe maybe extremely boring. Oh, oh they're having fun with this one. Oh God, what have I done? Am I gonna die? Everything's probably fine. Just don't uh, care about your survival, and that'll rectify most of the problems. Okay. But I think it lands on that safely enough. Oh, this actually gives me some... Uh, <laughs> it goes high enough that it actually makes me a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't love my chances here. I think I fucked it up. Yeah, I don't I don't do great with heights in real life, but usually doesn't matter in video games, but when I fall great distances in first person or and so on, sometimes my head gets a weird little rush from like <sighs> Like, I'm feeling it a little too much in the moment. I timed that wrong again. God, I'm so good at smart at things. Okay. I understand what to do, I'm just not doing it at all. Okay, so when it's above this portal, I shoot it over... I then shoot this part of the floor, and... It'll then fly up in the air, and then I can run under it and catch it. Bye. Okay. And I'll go into that. Come out of that. And then hit. Aha! See? I do know how to play a video game. I just forget for a few minutes sometimes. Where does that even go? Just the end? Is that the end? Or another end like substance? Um, we'll see how this works. Uh, okay, yes, fine, everything's fine. <laughs> I was confident. I knew that was gonna work out. Uh, new scary thing? Ah, the ball. My favorite portal jet is the, the ball. Don't go away. Okay. Sorry, I'm very slow. There's no sprint button. They didn't invent a sprint yet. They hadn't invented running in 2011. Come on, all aerial plates should be configured correctly. I promise. Well, now I now I believe you less because you felt the need to specify. Never trust people who specify. They're always covering something. Well done, candidate. You are nearing the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. Ah. Uh, so there's like an, another level. Like another world of levels, probably. I doubt, because I doubt this is probably not the ending. There's going to be either more. So that laser power is that. Is either going to be more level? Like another world or something, or it's gonna be like, ah, oh, you've escaped uh, the aperture science testing tests, and now you have to go strike out on your own outside of the context of those nine levels. Okay, that's a problem. Is it making little robot noises at me? That's fun. That's some fun adaptive soundtrack. Kind of sounds like it's saying, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. 
Getting more high pitched now. Okay, it makes a weird little sparky spark over there, but looks like it reaches its target, so pressing this button opens the door. But only if you do the other thing, which is uh, a laser over there. To the next part of the puzzle. Which will ultimately mean that I need to get up this elevator, and then I'll use this portal to make a blue beam go there. From there, so that's gonna have to face the other direction ultimately. There's no portal surfaces here. There's that one, but it's around a corner all weird. Might technically be doable, but yeah. So the current puzzle that we are working with is that I need to worry about... Yeah, it's not gonna do it. Let's see. Or that is gonna do it. God, I'm so smart clever. Clever and smart. The smartest, cleverest boy. There we go. So if I do it at this angle... Bleh. You didn't see that. If I do it at this angle... I guess I want to be on the ground. I can move the portal. Ta-da! And moving the portal means that the beam is not connected anymore. And then when I reconnect it, the beam is connected again. Which is how I get up here. And then once I have nested a portal up here, I am now able to go upstairs and downstairs freely, except for the part where that button's over there and I can't reach it anymore! Which is not good! But I have this fun- I have this now, that's fun. I guess I can just recreate the, what I just did. Am I immune to lasers? <gasps> they made you immune to lasers because that part of the portal was actually annoying! Whoa! No one liked that! <laughs> No one liked that the lasers burn you and then go make ah, 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 when Especially when you're trying to go through the portal that the laser's going through. That was annoying and stupid and no one liked it. Thank you, video game gods. Okay. So... It's over there right now. I need to get up there. I should be able to do by pressing this button to reset the box. Because I don't and then as long as I keep this portal active up there, then I can get back upstairs without trapping myself, which means I'm safe to do the eh, I did it again. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Leela. You've got to wake up. As a reminder, your Aperture Science provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science Hard Light Bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. That was... The part where it stopped having reverb in the middle was startling. I think it was the where, room I walked into, but it still suddenly was like, He's in the room with you! He's coming! And I, I wasn't psyched about that. <laughs> uh, laser is coming from over there and shooting over here. Has there been an aperture... Is that, has there been a portal game where each time you solve the puzzle, it then just adds more to the puzzle instead of giving you a new room? Like, it just keeps layering more and more into the room, and you have to, like, figure out how to solve the old and new puzzles at the same time, or some configuration of them in order to continue forward. Like, just new, like, expansions to the room keep popping in, like some other types of puzzle genres do, but not portal, usually. I think it might have happened. I think that even might have happened in Portal 2's campaign. I haven't played it for a while. Uh, Portal 2's campaign is 12 years old. I'm so sorry. I'm not that sorry. But, uh, yeah, Andrew and I voted it our collective game of the year. Uh, the year we started doing YouTube when I was 21. And I'm, uh, uh by the time this comes out, I might be 34? Maybe? Which is 
dead in gay years, but whatever. Uh. Okay, so time to actually think about this puzzle. I was kind of on a tangent there. I, I wasn't quite focused yet. Okay, button is opened by... Okay, yep, door open, one button. That's it. The end of everything opening is this. That's all you do. So the question is how to get there, and it looks... <laughs> Can I crouch jump on here? Hang on a minute. Eh. Eh. If I could jump on... If I could jump on this rail, this would be like a shockingly quick skip. Where you still have to figure out how to press this button, but like being able to just like jump onto the end of the level would be fucking it'd be so fucking funny. Okay, uh lasers up there. A B. That That was about to be snarky, but that was about to be this is a rare blood type. I actually don't know if it's rare or common, I don't remember that clearly. I still have one portal. Which is is disconcerting. Hello. That's cool except for the part where I can't walk through this portal or it does this. Alright, and then you give me a Biax. But I can't uh, do much with that yet. Because this thing is like this. Rude of it, frankly. But I can go in here, and this portal is not emancipatable because of the fact that it's not controlled by me. So that's an interesting setup, actually. The fact that I don't control the orange portal does lead a lot of, to a lot of situations where I can just walk through these grills with much less issue than I'm used to in portal games, because it's usually much more concerning. And now I can go up here, which means I can now get a barrier, but I can't go through that way because this thing is powered by uh, bullshit. Uh, See, I can go back up there, but I can't take the box with me. Unless... Okay, so first of all, this thing is powering this thing, which is... Oh, because this thing is creating the barrier. So if I can block this, the barrier go bye-bye. So we have a thing here and a thing here. So if I press this, it'll actually reset the box. Hi. Which brings back the grill, but I don't care about the grill. I care about this laser. Because I care more about this other grill than that grill. And then I can go here. So that's exciting. And so now we know how to get on this side of the level. But the door is not open. That's some bullshit. How do I make the door open? Aha. Aha in what way though? Uh, aha in the way that... Uh, uh, <laughs> totally solved this puzzle, definitely. Uh, let's see, if I make a portal here, I can... Go back there and reset the box and bring it over here, and then why would I want to block this laser? Oh no, it's because if I brought it, if I brought it here, then I could jump over here and press this button with the laser, with the box, not the laser, and then that door would be open, which seems like what I'd have to do because it's the only physics object I can use. It's the only box and box-like substancey objecty thing. But if I do that, then how do I get? If I do that, then how do I get this barrier to work? Let's find out the hard way. Let's find out why this doesn't work. Because I feel like this doesn't work. But sometimes it's best to just kind of walk through the process and see if it works anyway. Because that's exciting. How it just might just decide to work instead of not working. I, I managed to put it there without falling down here. That's kind of fun. Anyway, uh, that thing's the only way to get back. I need to get on the light bridge to continue. So now the question is, how do I get the light bridge? And it sounds like a pretty tough question. Uh, cause... Yeah, seems like it's gonna be a problem for me. So I need to be able to put a portal there. And to put a portal there... I need... Yeah, a lot of problems happen, because once the portal is there, that's the blue portal, and this is the orange portal. And I have to be in the middle of the room to put that there. So that wall needs to be open for me to keep going that way, which is what happened last time. Because once- if I- because I'm in here, I can't get past this wall. Here. But that button only disables this one. I also can't get in the I also can't get in the middle room without destroying my portal, though my portal doesn't matter as much. I 
Let's see. Maintaining this vantage point doesn't seem to matter at this point because it's already here. And we can't reset the cube because the cube's holding the door open, which is important. But I can't walk through here, which means I can't use the bridge. Which creates all sorts of problems for me. So how do I get across this bridge? While that's there. Or, if possible, is there a way to press that button with that box later? When I'm already across the bridge? There's no portal surfaces on the other side of the bridge, and even if there was, I probably would need to use a portal to move the box. Okay. This feels like our first proper paradox to, to resolve. By which I mean the fact that the core reason why puzzles are entertaining a lot of the time is you see a thing that looks impossible, and you have to envision why, how it's solvable despite how, you know, it looks like it's completely impossible to do. How does one resolve the paradox? So pressing this resets, it resets the puzzle. Getting past here is how you stop this barrier. And at that point you can get across. While you are across, you then have to figure out how to get the button, the box over here to press this button. While also being able to press. Press this button and block this laser. While also being unable to get back up here once I cross this barrier. Because I could hop down. That opens the door, and no portal surfaces in there. This gets me access across here, but this is blocking that laser, which I can't deal with. They were careful not to put any portal surfaces down here. I've got to be missing something. Wait. Or I've already solved it? <laughs> Because the portal already can see the bridge soon. I may have never been. Was I ever stuck? Am I insane? I might have never been stuck. I might have literally just. Like. <laughs> saw, in anticipated a problem and let it, like. Substitute my reality a bit. <laughs> it didn't register at the, after that point what was going wrong. Oh. 
Congratulations! You did it! I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, baked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down after all. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. What? First of all, that was a very good trick. That was a, it's very funny that there was, a, there was even a little spray painted X, like this is exactly where you were supposed to land all along, despite the initial panic that something was wrong. Uh, it's just a very good fake out to give you a whole environment you think you're interacting with and then sending you here. But so I, I also am amused by the fact that he's just kind of talking like a person now. Revealing that up until now, he was kind of doing a fake out. He was kind of just doing a bit. He's like, I am an evil robot. Ha ha ha. Funny lack of safety. LOL. I don't think it lets me go this way. Stanley pressed the button for three more hours, hoping the elevator would come. But it never did. I see you're still pressing the button, even said, though I said that there is a three hour wait. Blah 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 blah. We both played Stanley Parable. Wow, I'm so funny. What are you emancipating? I don't like how that appeared. Dark in here, isn't it? The checkpoint is right there. Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter? We're doing this even more. We're still doing the one portal. That's funny. are manual, so I can't help you. Got a clue? What did it do? Ah. Hello, terrifying portal crusher thing where I am disintegrated and torn apart. I think that did the trick. Oh, I was scanned. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. I thought I was about to be emancipated from my spine. Uh, can I get out? Oh, here we go. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Oh, wait. You, uh, can't go that way. Find a way around. Okay. This is amusing. It's an amusing little setup. The, uh, the pretense has been withdrawn, and now we are doing the real thing a bit. Let's see. Well done! Not everyone gets this position, you know? You should be proud! Is it because it's a position Leaning you just made up? humans that don't exist anymore. Hmm. Wow. So excited. 2020 really did a number on everyone, huh? <laughs> uh, R.I.P. Humanity. And yes, I do understand that... ...by now that the facility isn't in great shape. It's a long story, so I'll cut it short. The Central core in charge of maintaining the facility has been put out of commission. I tried to look after the place in her absence, but I don't have the tools. Good news, though. I found better tools. A device capable of repairing the whole enrichment center. Only problem is that only a human can turn it on, so I hoped maybe you could fill in that role for me? The life of every human and core in the facility is at risk if we don't stop the collapse. Come on, let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. He looks like a little sun, like he's the optimism core or something. But yes, I do realize that talking about quote-unquote portal humor 
and putting a little stank on it this is immediately uh opening me up for people to be like well you're not funny i don't think your jokes are funny so yeah. like first of all ow we need to get closer to the surface i found an elevator in this direction second of all true Crouching. Oh, but there's a weird little lip. Huh. Fall in the funny hole. I'm doomed. Okay. Up ahead is the turret disposal facility. Since they're all defective, they shouldn't be able to hurt you, but still be careful. Weapons that are defective can still be dangerous. There could just be more... Uh, equal opportunity dangerous. Poor turrets. You might think that their pain is only simulated, but how is it different to yours or mine? They really don't deserve to be shredded, but don't worry. All their scrap will be recycled for production, and only surplus turrets get shredded after all. No. Your don't worry didn't actually reassure at all. Don't worry, it's only the surplus turrets, okay? You just introduced the fact that they have emotions. So, I'm looking through your records, and I see you have a family! How are the kids... Oh, oh no. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, forget I asked that. I... I am so sorry. Ah. So this is the aliens part of the series where I have uh, been in cryo for so long that everyone I loved is old or dead. Don't worry, Ripley. I'm sure the cat loves you. This nice surrogate daughter will serve as a replacement, won't she? Ah, live turrets. Everyone's a streamer these days. Ah, shut down override. So I put a box in there and it doesn't happen anymore. They designed their entire facility to work like test chambers. You know, I think there might have been something wrong with them, actually. <laughs> I think something might be wrong with these people. Oh, okay, I am successfully down here. Nope. Bye bye. Doom. That seems safe. Do I jump on one of these boxes? A little hard to do with that perspective. There we go. I figured it's probably supposed to platform on top of these boxes to get the other box over there. I don't know if that was necessary, if I could have just very carefully hopped while, and then let go of it up here. But one way or another, I had to get past the ladder. Is that the first ladder I've ever climbed in a portal game? Sorry, right, I was just processing that. Okay, there we go. I've ruined the fans. Stand in the place where you work. F fan in the... Anyway, I just want to test this ladder again. Ooh. It's weird. You can strafe on it. It's very strange. You do a little hop at the end, so you clear it. It's, it's just a... I, I, I realized when I went up the first... When I went up in the first place, I could just... It kind of felt odd. And then I realized, wait a minute. Have I ever climbed a ladder in Portal before? And I'm not sure if I have. I don't really think of ladders in Portal. Am I going that way or that way? 
Well, I can't be going that way, can I? Because the thingy is solid. But maybe there's a way to get there? I don't know, there's a whole gate and whatnot. On guard. Oh, that was. Oh, wait, that was. We just established that that was cruel. I'm so sorry. But I will do it again. Try to find a way across that bridge. I'm sure you'll figure it out, so I will wait right ahead. Oh, portal. Exciting. Shoot me. Ow. Ugh, not for real. I was being glib. That was a bit. Take this chair. Oh, that's not how you throw chairs. Uh, well, I guess that chair's dead to me. Does the chair sh does the chair shred? Okay, so what's up with this room? Why well, I want to be in this room with the oh? Boo! In base four, I'm fine. Okay, um... I didn't see that switch. I just kind of ran around pressing a button because I was trying, kind of wondering what to do. And... It was scary. Anyway, goodbye. I hope you guys had a good one because your lives are forfeit. That's fun. Um, what is my goal? Where is where is my my goal? Where am I supposed to go next? Don't know what's happening or what I'm doing at this point. That's the fan room. That's a portal surface. Is that a portal service? Oh, is that where I'm going? What's over here? Um, maybe. This certainly technically feels like an option. In a I'm going to die kind of way. That's... That's exciting. Am I supposed to go here? Because I feel like I'm not supposed to go in the horrible nightmare fan. There we go. It looked like the... Not only did I not trust it, like, I thought there would be an invisible wall or something that stops me from jumping on the rim, but, like, I feel like when you walk into the molten sun or whatever that's over there, you probably don't, uh, keep being. Please remain calm. It's just a very, 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 very high fall. How does it feel to be an official Aperture employee? Yeah, must be great. Though, on that topic, don't try running off without me, okay? Yes, I made up the human emergency response team, but so what? It can still be real. You are human, this is quite an emergency, and you are responding to it. Not quite a team yet, though. Hmm. Nah, a team can't consist of one person, that doesn't make sense. I could get more people, but that seems like a lot of work. You know what? I think we two make a great team in of itself. We might not make a fully human team, but you can't always get what you want. Semi-human? I'll go with that. To get back on topic, here's my proposal. You help me repair the facility, and I'll let you leave. You could call me the human response specialist instead of team. Is this just a way of skipping this ladder that I'll now go back down just to be confirming that it is all the directions that I go in and so on? Yes, it is. Wow. Look how quickly we use ladders. Shazam! Oop, oh, that's the door. Thing going there. Scary tall robot with fucked up nightmare face. Why is it not? Why does it look off center? Oh, look at it go! Where does this fan send the box? Down the hole again. And with the power of holding a box, I am now restricted to taking the stairs. Whoa. 
it's like reverse psychology accessibility where when you're less when you're more encumbered you have to take the stairs Let's not get uh, murdered by the fan. Pro tip. In this strategy guide, we'll be detailing how to not die by avoiding the obvious threat. That was a, not a good creak. Nicely done. This is a test observation facility. Humans have to sit here all day and watch you test subjects solve the chambers. In real time, too. Imagine. Survivable, asterisk, testing at Aperture, gather contacts, learn new life skills, and profit from volunteer testing. Aperture helps you write the history of your own career. Volunteer for testing now. The asterisk will not be explained. Test chamber, observation. Would you like to observe the testing? Just kidding, that's literally what you are, you work here. What a nerd. You're not even getting paid. You're watching this for free? What a l <laughs> Do you see the problem here? <laughs> this is the hallway where you approach the test chamber observation department. The, the, that's where you, that's the sign that's supposed to tell you to use this door. And it's facing inward to the people who already know where they are. <laughs> but it's not how signs work. <laughs> that's a really that's a really that's a funny joke. Open Ain't mean. I don't know why I keep thinking whiteboards are going to work. It's moon rocks. They killed Cave Johnson. Remember the lemons? 12 years ago? There's another observation room on the other ah. side that can take you to the elevators. I'm sure you can find another way in there. You're pretty resourceful. I want the reverb back. I don't want to be in there anymore. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Am I rebooting the earlier puzzles, but now with more buttons? What is the... What does the do? Ah! Sure, if there's no other way. Oh, no. Uh... Okay. Oh! I can't get up there. Oh wait, I can go through this hole. Golly, I'm intelligent. What if we destroyed all the glass for no reason, though? That'd be exciting. Ha 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 ha, I'm a bad person. Okay, bye bye. Oh, I do still have the bomb button, don't- wait. Why'd I come back here? Oh. To cycle back to the level, but with explosives. Wow. What an honor. Is 
So if I go all the way back, I should be able to then hop through that to land up there and just don't want to happen to use the portal at the same moment that the deadly things happen. Pro tip, don't do it when you're going to die. Another thing to add to the never Ow. To list. Okay, I seem to have given us a box. That's fun. What what does the box do? Uh eh. Please don't kill me with the stuff. Okay. Do 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 I don't know why I stand is stuck in my head right now. So what's their deals? Jumped at the wrong spot. Button. Door doesn't work. That's a fun problem. Ow. Will it clear it? Also do that just to break that one for fun. Okay, cool. So don't blow me up, please. Uh, okay, I guess I can go there now. Is that where I want to go? How do I get back, though? That window's broken, so if I go back there, I should be able to go there. So, there's the explosion. We We'll just cycle through here again, I guess. And now we can head back here. They really are coming to the single portal, but that, that seems to be the identity of this particular mod. I am, in yes. fact, blue Daba D. And we turned off the timer. Okay, we did it. That was the wacky bomb room. Scary button. I have a surprise for you after this last little hurdle. I know, I know. I promised no more test. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> well then. Here you go. I'll wait up ahead and, uh, prepare some things. Take your time. Oh, it's a big room. Oh, it's a real big room. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Oakum dokum. Lasers? Okay. Work on processing what I'm even looking at here. There's downstairs, there's an upstairs, there's a laser, there's a... V what does that do again? I don't even remember. <laughs> there's a box shitter. Laser box shitter? Okay. That activates that. Is that a... Oh, it's the gravity thing. Laser again, laser receiver. So shoot that and it doesn't work because the wrong portal gets moved when I do that. Shit. Okay, well let's go over to there and look and look over there now. That's exciting. Hi, laser that doesn't hurt me, isn't that nice? That was such a non-mechanic. I don't think that laser could even physically kill you if you kept running into it continually. It would make your screen go red and bounce you off, but it would just it was just annoying. La the laser was just annoying. <laughs> there was no real reason to make it hurt you. Cuz it didn't even really hurt you like in an actionable way. It didn't hurt you like turrets kill you. <laughs> 
Okay, got a box now. That's exciting. Probably not very helpful to put it there because it's already not going anywhere. There's a button over there. There's a shoot. There's a... Oh, there's the exit. Found it. Took a little while. Hello. Press that to open it. You know, that. <laughs> the d dot's the dead end. Maybe they go to that, but behind that ridge right there so you can't see it. Boop. Let's just go on a little journey with this box till I can make sense of my surroundings. Doesn't that sound like an exciting time? No? Shut up. I don't know what you do with the whole downstairs area. I guess just get the box. I guess that's exciting if you, uh... Aren't exciting. Okay, so since I can't move the portal, I can't simply just make a portal that goes down there. And all of the visible surfaces when I'm at the purple portal that would allow me to take the box over there are not accessible. I can go over there. Let's look at the level from over here with my box friend. Hi. Uh, I can see through here, which is good for shooting Probably not a laser. It's too high up. I can shoot a portal except all the portal will surf. Oh, all the surfaces here are not Portal surfaces So I'm not entirely sure what this little hole in the wall is gonna amount to maybe there's some object I can just feed through it at some point that oh, what was it? Wait, what does this do? Ah, it moves the portal Okay, so the portal, pro, orange portal goes from there to there when you click on that, which means that now I'm over here, and that means I can shoot this portal over here, and now this thing's power, which means that there's light bridge at the top! Which is of mixed usefulness! Woo! Okay, uh, I shot that when I went over here, so... Mostly this is a chance to gain information about my surroundings, but there's no reason to be in here when I activate this part. Right, it's gonna move the portal. Or thar. So that beam goes there. So for the moment, I'm gonna wanna. Hmm. How am I gonna go back upstairs? Because it would be ideal to have not moved the blue portal a minute ago. Basically, that would be pretty sweet. Okay. That's so where I really want to be is over back over there, so I can move that. I want to move the orange portal while I'm there. Okay, I think what I ultimately need to do in order to fix this is I need to go back in here and then go over here, because if I go over here I press this button and that allows me to reset the box, which resets the purple portal because their fates were intertwined. Whoa. Sounds smart when I say it that way. And now I've moved the orange portal. And then I can power the light bridge without physically trapping myself with the orange portal. That's exciting. Uh, what is my actual plan in doing this, though? Uh... Great question. Do I eventually break that window or something? Like, what, where am I going to portal through? Or is it a chance to portal here when I'm on the roof? If I... Maybe it's that whenever I'm up there, I can portal over here, but I didn't see how to get up there. Listen. Bro. I'm still working on parsing this environment. It's, uh... It's complicated. There's a lot going on. But also, it's kind of just hard to look at all at once, because of how it's all spread out. I'm trying to figure out the flow, where my... where the directionality is, what I'm even trying to accomplish here. Okay, so laser go up. 
to open door. So laser needs to be shooting at the end of this level. This probably this is probably a, a portal floor. Looks like it. So there's a portal floor there. So the laser has to be going into the orange portal at the end. That's interesting. It's currently going into the blue portal. So there must be a way to move the orange portal in that into this path or a chance to move the beam. I think this is the beam boxes. So I need to get up there to get a beam box. I don't know how to get up there, which is its own problem. How doth one ascend, bruv? That button resets the box. That is where the laser wall is. Most stuff on this side isn't very interactive. How do I get upstairs? Am I missing a por like a portal service? I don't think so. If you press that, that activates, it looks like. If you press eh, something, uh, that that's the downstairs laser which activates that. But it activates this like series of platforms. And more importantly, how do I get upstairs? Uh, I don't think this thing retracts. I think it shoots outward. So that's probably you probably ride that into the exit at the end. So let's ignore that. I am just continually wondering how do one go upstairs in this side of the level. And I guess you cross this bridge that way, right? From doing this. Okay. So I just go up here. Okay, yep. Yeah. I was stuck for goofy... Oh, that doesn't even need to be activated by you. Okay. Uh, it was kind of goofy that I was stuck for that long. I just kind of was losing the thread in the weird environment layout. But nope, I had not stranded myself at the beginning. Primarily in that uh, I was where I needed to be. Uh... Okay. This is interesting, because this thing... Is activated by a box, which means that when I go through this barrier, my portals will despawn. But none of my portals affect this, I think. So we're pretty much good. The main thing is I need... The beam to be shooting into the orange portal. So that when I place the, the blue portal over there, then we're, 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 we're golden. And the default position for the orange portal is here when that box gets moved, which is not probably where the laser is supposed to be. The so laser is shooting from there. Laser shooting from there to there. So if I put the light box there. I can redirect. Hmm. Did it just hurt me with the laser? That's not normally how this works. Ooh, that's currently activating the thingy from there. That's fun. So when this becomes the orange portal again, when I move that box, this beam will be shooting into this, which will be safe. If I press this, it will reset the orange portal back to being over here. So I will be successfully shooting a uh, laser into the orange portal, which lets me do that. But I also need to get over there. Which means I need to take the reset box and I need to put it over there. Uh, 
And being over there is a struggle because I get there by riding this light bridge, which is powered by this laser. Probably leave this here. The problem is trying to get over there in the first place. Ah, that's probably why there's a hole in the wall. So I can shoot here. If I shoot a portal here, I'm afraid to do it right now, but if I shoot a portal here and, and I, can, I can grab the box. It needs to go up here. Which means this laser has to be going there. But I'll be over there with the box, and this orange portal will have gone back over there, so I will grab this box, go through my blue portal to end up over there. And then if I shoot over there, I can cross over from there to there. And then if I shoot here, this laser will reconnect and allow me to walk on this, and then walk it over here. Okay, I think it works. Unless I did, unless I fucked it up. What an exciting problem. I just have to probably redo the entire level's sequence of actions if I am wrong. So that's fun. That's exciting, even. I love that for me. Spoilers, he did not love that for him. So Ta-da! I've reactivated the barrier. Ta-da! And now... When I go through that thing, this laser will deactivate, which means the light bridge goes away, but this will not go away. So I think we're good. Right! <sighs> okay, I didn't fall to my death. That's a good sign. That I didn't miscalculate some part of this environment. When they get this big, it'll be hard to parse what you're dealing with for a little bit. You don't want to mess it up in front of everyone. Everyone's watching. That'd be really embarrassing. Ah, F4. The refresh. Wait, is it F4 or F5? Shit. That's F5, isn't it? <laughs> Listen. That's fine. Did you expect something bad? Yes, it's an actual elevator straight to the surface. Rare find. You're welcome, by the way. I know you humans love the sky for some reason, so I thought this would excite you. I don't believe you. Is it going to be a, a painting? I know what you're thinking. You really don't trust me. And I've done nothing but sounding like a raving lunatic or a sociopath. Probably both at once, if I'm going to be honest. In the interest of transparency, this elevator will take you up to the surface. Uh, only thing is, it's not all the way out of the enrichment center. When we get to the surface, we still have a little way to go before we can complete your half of the deal. I'll try to help you where I can with these old test chambers, but uh, there's been a lot of decay, if you catch my drift. But hey, look at the bright side. There's fresh air, it's sunny outside, and I think there's a cool breeze. Just watch out for wild animals. Those are brutal. With any luck, this should take just a few minutes, and then you can go free. Hope we're in the clear now. 
Please remain calm. No. Chapter 3, The Surface. Alright, what... Oh, mushrooms. Go take a look out that window for a moment. See that huge spire in the distance? That's where we're headed. Little confession. I don't know for sure whether it still works. It is possible that there is just a pile of rubble waiting for us. Judging by how torn apart this place is, I give that chance a possibility of... Ooh, you know what? Never mind. Welcome to the Visual Chaos chapter. It will be significantly diff more difficult to tell what the fuck the puzzle elements are. <laughs> I hate to say it, but we need to find a testing track. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to torture you with endless testing. You already proved that you're capable. Problem is that these backstage areas aren't built to be as durable as the test chambers. To cover any ground here, we need to move between testing tracks. Well, isn't that convenient? But also, no, I, I do want to be in a testing chamber. Because the more you're dealing with chaos environments like this, like... We all think the last level of Portal 1 is really cool, and it is. But it is a little annoying that you're like, what the fuck am I looking at? After a whole level, after a whole game full of visual clarity. And yeah, the more that some of the levels that lean he more heavily into crazy visuals, you're like, okay, but the puzzle takes place here. What am I doing here? What am I interact with? Start really searching for those white portal surfaces, and some of them are a little less white sometimes. But even a perfectly white panel can blend in surprisingly well in just the chaos. Good find. But this testing track isn't in good shape. Hmm. There should be another one not far from here. See if you can find it. I'm in danger. Again, good attempt, but this test is broken. You need to find another one. We have an orange surface. Give box, please. I wonder if any of these are references to other portal chambers, like from the first two games. That'd be like a cute thing to do. It's like, it's like the first one, but all it's all broken and fucked up. Wow, look how things have changed. But I haven't played them recently enough to remember specific layouts. I'm in here now. Why'd I do that? Exciting. Anyway. Alright, so what other location am I trying to portal then, if that's not the goal? Oh, this button's pressed down for good. Pressed down for what? Uh... Door broken. Is it time for my fear? Which is that I can't tell where to do, what to do. That door doesn't work. Uh, I summoned this so uh, the portal always works. These backstage arms seem to be freaking out. Yeah, this just never works. Uh, <laughs> did I miss something in here? Please? Just a floor. I don't see an exit happening in here. head back out upstairs okay yep decent example of just like the visual chaos making it a little hard to tell what the puzzle is I 
believe that's just the path that leads me back to where I started. Yep. So I can shoot over there, then hop down here and go back into the chamber. Eh? These are portal surfaces. Hello? Hello? <laughs> nope. That's much better. Might be a bit overgrown, but the hardware still works. They really use fine materials for these tests. Have to protect your investments, after all. Unbreakable materials are expensive. They're so unbreakable that uh, the last chamber we saw was broken. And this one's not doing great either. I feel like we might not agree on the word unbreakable. Uh, this thing spits the thing out. I gotta go there and I gotta press that button to leave. But then I gotta get back up here when I do press the button. That's the problem. That's gonna be the challenge. Because there's not a portal surface right there. Whoop! Oh. Ha! <laughs> That's a clever little level design trick. It's like that you'd be, you'd be nervous about hopping down here. Because like, how am I going to get back up? And they want to encourage you to go forward to the level to explore. So they just made the floor collapse under you as you approach the cliff just to look down. That's I, I appreciate that. That's very cute. I'd be much more nervous otherwise. I imagine these boxes can't be used to solve the puzzle because they are not weighted companion cubes. Chamber 12 out of 19. This might be a reference to the main campaign. 12 out of 19. Up, 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 up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna go. So things could have gone gooder. Uh, let's just go in on foot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, everything's fine. Whoa! And then just hop in from here. Oh yeah, I think I remember this little spot being the guide to jump here. I think this is one of the first puzzle, like one of the earlier puzzles in the first game or something. I don't know. Did you know that this iteration of your Aperture Science handheld portal device has been specifically configured to not shoot portals further than eight kilometers? Yeah, they quickly learn to limit the range on these things. Can easily end the whole world. Nope, oh, the dialogue ended. Sorry, loading screen. They really expect you to stop and wait for it, huh? You think they just do the thing where the the elevator just wait just locks you in place till the dialogue ends, which they did before. But that's a that's a little wacky joke about the ending of Portal 2, which in which uh, you shoot the moon. That's an important thing you can do at one point, and realize you can do because it's the portal walls are all made of moon rocks. It's like, uh, yeah, we're gonna make a signal and shoot eight eight. Eight kilometers now, please. If you, uh, for specific, uh, choices you know, that have been made. I wasn't aware that the surface is in such a rough state. You don't want to say it before, but this place is such a mess. This will take so long to clean up. Whoever did this was very thorough in their work. Whoop! I'm here now. What did I do? Box. Okay, so I just looped across to that. Can I make this jump? No. Yes, no. Eh. Hey. 
portal surface down here, but I think it's just a way to get back out of here when you get stuck here. When you're in the sad moat. Weird seam in the world over there that you can see light through. So we gotta get the box to here to win. And then I also have to figure out how to get on that ledge. Which do create its own problems. One. Being on the floor does make this a little more hard. To navigate. Just want to reach that box. Guess I could try that. Oh yeah, this is how you shoot yourself. Yeah, this is how you launch yourself. Got it. Okay, this is this is what I was missing. So now I've landed here, but that's not helpful yet because I can get the box on the other side. Gotta figure out that part. I say as a figure out is a big problem for me. It'll be easy. I've never been wrong before. Okay. Now I just redo what I did a second ago. Yeah, that's it. Straightforward. All right, I can shoot a portal in there. The door, the door opens though. You don't even know how this all happened. Well, long ago, Aperture was run by a central core capable of monitoring and maintaining the whole facility. Certain tasks were outsourced to other cores, like me. Everything was great, you know, a true utopia. Until one human test subject, this little monster, just had to ruin our lives and killed her. And that's that. Most of my colleagues either went crazy, died, or disappeared. What else were we supposed to do if we can't fulfill our purpose? You're kind of starting to give like Invader Zim vibes a little bit with the voice acting. Not that character, but that voice actor. Like, I guess Raz then, I should say. It looks, it sounds like Rasputin a little bit. So they've come to the conclusion, so, all the, so the AI chorus think that Shell is evil. But it was really just some poor human trapped in the system just trying to escape. This GLaDOS was a nightmare. So GLaDOS do be currently dead. Oop. It's on the floor. Okay, it's fine. I promised you could leave once we're done, but if you ever need a job in the future, don't hesitate to come back. They're enjoying their little goofiness there. Not a super complex puzzle, but it's a fun little trick where you can use both the ceiling and the floor with one portal to create a loop. It's too late. Use the gels sparingly. The tanks aren't being refilled anymore, and what's left won't last forever. Once they're empty, we're gonna have a little problem. The gels are also highly corrosive and will eat through metal and skin given enough time. Might be good to know. I'm gonna die. I wonder if that's a real gameplay mechanic I have to worry about, or if it's nothing. Uh, the part where we, he says we're gonna run out of gels, not the part where it's just gonna melt me or something. That's just classic portal. Ha ha! Everything you do here is dangerous. Hello all. They installed an emotion core so that I would stop flooding them with a highly dangerous, highly deadly neurotoxin. Okay, this one's a little hard to parse. What am I doing here? A jump from there to there to get to what's probably the exit or something? Or that part up there? 
maybe? Oh, it's going to be hard to get up there when I have to be... Yeah, I can shoot a portal up there, but I can't jump down to the orange from there very effectively. Oh, uh, that'll work. Yep. Okay, so here's the exit. Press that button to exit. So somewhere there's a block. That's important to figure out, too. Maybe over there is how I spawn the block. I always appreciate the detail of Portal, which is that when you're falling... Oh, oh, it's the blue gloop. Oh, I tell the sp oh. I tell the blue gloop where to exist. Gotcha. It's not a box. Okay. But yeah, I, I always have liked the, the element of Portal where they're very nice about you jumping towards holes and stuff. And so they like to make it so that you uh, magnetize towards the portal and land on it pretty reliably, even if you d your aim isn't perfect or someone. Like, your you can feel your character aligning towards the hole and sort of fixing your jump arc so that you don't just go careening off into some chaotic direction or or just, like, constantly near miss the jump. Like, you can tell that in playtesting they just had a ton of, like, oh, yeah, it's, a lot it's really frustrating when you, like, do the you all do all the right portals and you jump at the portal correctly like, or by, by correctly, I mean that, like, you're correct about jumping towards the portal. But then you're, like, a centimeter off and your character just... The, their hitbox hits, hits the wall, so your character bounces, or... Your character gets stuck and just doesn't go through the portal. That's... Bad. It, su it sucks and is frustrating and it's not good. So they clearly got rid of it, like, immediately. They're like, I know how to fix this. Don't do it that way. Ah! I broke my face. Oh. Well, at least it's up there. Right? Yes. Whoop! Ooh. Okay. Wee woo. Wait, where does it have to go again? Oop! Oh, just in there. I thought of where the exit is and not where the actual button is. Wow. Exactly what I was trying to avoid the last few times. Oh. What? Do I have the goop on me? What's going on? Why am I why am I going so hard? Thought we had a system here, man. Oops. Beep. Ah. Okay, there we go. It's pretty easy at the moment. Gotta admit, watching you fly through the air like that looks pretty fun. Sometimes I wish I could do the same. Oh, he wants to steal my body. That's where this is going. I bet. I am very smart and can I correctly identify plot twists uh, seconds into the game. These tests were Obviously. never designed to be exposed to the surface. We've not come across any toxic plants yet, but do -do -do, stay alert. Do -do -do. There's a reason we don't do experiments in the open anymore. Uh, you want to turn it off? You're wasting the the tank. Am I dying of bad, bad? Am I gonna be okay? Okay. It's the sky. 
That is a neat, that is, that is a fun little trick. It's not even that good of a looking sky, but it's like, oh man, the sky, you guys. I don't think we've been able, I don't think we have been in the open air like this before. Or, you know, open sky at, at the top before in a portal game. I could be wrong. There is an amusing sort of like through line of them trying to make each portal mod feel like it has continuity with the original game. It's just like a cute detail that they've always had. I turn off the water, turn on the water, turn off the water, turn on the water. Don't think they're gonna shoot me. Yeah, I can't portal that surface, which raises- Oh, now the now the water's on this side. So you pick which side it spawns on. I can portal up there. Ah! But that with the gust. But yeah, I don't know if any of the portal mods contradict each other, but it is kind of just a cute detail where they all try to fit into the continuity of the original game, which admittedly you don't have to try that hard to do, but they always like at least gesture at the idea, like this is all in the same story. That damn shell and GLaDOS sure existed, and this is an even more rundown version of the facility or some other future period of time. That's just a, a cute detail. I don't know if it was a guideline by Valve for all these mods or if it's like an unspoken agreement to just kind of like approach it this way. Sorry, I'm still trying to parse what this level is. Okay, yes. So it's a suck portal. Which means I can do this stuff. Basically. Look at that bounce! Okay. So now this bounce stuff is spread a boot a bit. I guess if I do this, I can deliver them to hell! To hell! Okay, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Let's see. Um. That also doesn't line up. That's probably how I solved the level, except no, because it's going backwards. So I need to turn it into a push beam, somehow. That's not how you do it. But it needs to become a push beam, because I need to be able to go towards the exit, not away from it, ultimately. But uh, usually when you have a series of, of things like this, you need to put... Let's see, is that a layer you can go through? Usually you need to cover them in the bounce juice, and then they all fly away, and then the threat goes away. Oh, maybe they're not making that approach. Maybe it, it is about just... Maybe it is just about making this a bounce barrier, and then just like... catapulting yourself across here, and just going fast enough that the turrets can't shoot you? I'm not sure. Uh, either way, if I'm going to... If I'm going to get the blue stuff on here, I need to reverse this beam, right? I think so. Maybe not. But it seems like I'd have to reverse the beam. Because if I suck it into this portal... Then this stuff goes there. But it's ultimately going to go there. And without the ability to reverse it, I can't send it over there. Like, this stuff can go like this, but, like, shooting the beam doesn't in any way make it go that way. It just drops all on the floor over here, basically. Because it's going the wrong- the beam- this thing's pushing the wrong way. 
You'd want to, like, make it all fill up this much space, then reverse it out the portal into the blue beam, and then that part would then go out that way, potentially. Either there or there. But shit is currently, uh, fucketh at the moment. I've got to be missing something about this level. Oop. I can bounce, which makes them all want to shoot me for a moment. That's exciting. I could get shot out of the sky. I wonder if this is a confirmation that moving at these speeds makes them not able to shoot me? So far they can't, but I do keep dipping behind the cover, and they won't be going this way. Let's see here. So it should be relatively easy. Yeah, none of those are portal services, because dropping it would also help. Oh, I've got to get off the button. I just get off this button and it'll drop, and then go flying out of there. Okay. Just took me a little longer than I than I than it should have to register what was happening there. The controls here will be a little goofy to figure out, but we'll get there together, or whatever. There we go. I'm feeling a little dumb at the moment. <laughs> that was a relatively straightforward fix that I just was not registering. How to reverse it. Wow, when well, this thing... Ah! So it turns out they super kill you to death with their bullets. Okay. In here, I thought moving that fast might make you safe. Bit of a gamble, but, you know. You know, so I guess let's try that now. I believe I already know what to do overall. Haha! -ha. You all died! In the horrible gore stuff. Oop, he's still going. Stop. Stop. Okay, I think he's dead. Boom, ba ba dum. All right, this part. <laughs> it's like a missing, missing part of the process. There's like just enough elements in this puzzle to think about it once that it's like, it feels like piloting a mech a little bit where I'm like, shit, what are all the uh, parts I'm trying to move at once? I just, right, I already splued the stuff. I don't need to do that again. Cool. God, I am not on top of it at the moment, apparently. Here we go. Wow, I'm so much less perforated this time. Iteration is the science of uh, immortality. You need to be immortal first, and then you can try again. Congratulations on completing this test. We hope you enjoyed your experience at the Aperture Science Center for. Who writes these protocols? Is this all just randomly generated? Oh, of course you enjoyed it. We designed the test that way. There's a reason I don't use those scripts. Could barely get through them when I first tested you. <laughs> Remember that? What did you think of my announcing voice, by the way? I've been practicing. Fringe. No. <laughs> it, it, it was amusingly kind of like, oh, they're doing... Here they go again, trying to be that exact type of funny, wacky, off-kilter core again. It did... It, it, it's... What we have now isn't, like, incredible, but it is, like, amusing that they were, like, priming me to be disappointed. And then 
actually doing a more natural and separate kind of performance instead. What are we trying to do here? Okay, so... This thing is an elevator. Takes you to the upstairs, which might be the end of the level. The door is already open, so you just have to get up this elevator and you win. Ah! Getting that to there would be helpful. But I think the puzzle might be about covering this surface with glide stuff so that that thing will slide down this ramp. So I think the idea is you want to come over here with the box, then set it down here and have it slide towards there, and then it goes over here. I just, oop, I just tried to, oop, I got stuck on the little lip there. I just tried to run again with, sh with shift. It's just so ingrained in my brain that you can do that now. Because so you can't move very fast in this game, so yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You don't even come close to being able to reach this thing in time. So I'm probably right about your goal here. The question, though, is, uh, how do you shoot orange stuff here? Alright, so where's the portal surface? Not there. Yeah, none of that really looked like it would be, but I had to check. Because in order to shoot this whole thing with orange stuff, you'd have to... ...have portal service, right? So I have this spot. Whoa. How did shooting it there make it go over there? That was a trip. So we're... So we're currently creating a purple, uh, an orange spot. Pressing this will reset the portal, which is not useful. But where can you... Okay, that lets you service... Okay. Okay, so there's a portal spot in the middle of the gloopy gloop. But that would cost. Is there... Okay, so there's no portal spot normally. There's no default location to work with. Oh, wait. It's covered in orange. Is that enough? Did I already solve it? Oh, I was thinking of completely different things. Yeah, just getting it orange covered is enough. So, okay. I keep anticipating a different kind of puzzle, but a lot, a lot of these lately are kind of like the only acceptable input is the solution to the puzzle. They're pretty straightforward. Wouldn't it be great to take a break from all the testing? Just to have a nice, long, warm shower under the cleansing fields. Washing your hair, watching your skin peel off. Yes, you heard me right. Don't try that. The fluid cleanses more than gels. Uh... I would like him to stop saying things about my skin coming off. I do not want to free my skin. Mm -hmm.